All right, hey guys, so um, don't mind that I'm currently washing our bedding, so it is um, undone behind me, but anyway, hi, my name is Allison Kay, and welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna be talking about my um, post operations outlook, and I might go into my experience with the operations overall, um, but first I just wanna film an intro to the video and talk to you guys. So here I am, hi. <laughs> um, so my name is Allison Kay, I am 22, and I have been married for three years, and um, my husband and I started to try to get pregnant on, in January of 2018. It took us 11 months, we got pregnant, and then we had a miscarriage, and we also simultaneously found out about the miscarriage and the fact that I had a septate uterus, so I had a um, abnormality in my uterus that I had to be surgically taken care of, um, removed. So anyway, I had a surgery, didn't go as planned, and I had to have a second surgery, and then I, I had stitches from that surgery that I tore or ripped or something happened, and then I was bleeding and I had to have an emergency third surgery to repair those stitches. So that's pretty much the quick recap of all of that stuff. Um, and now I have um, been on the road to recovery, and from that last emergency surgery, I have a six-week window of um, healing and letting those stitches heal, dissolve, fully be back to normal. So um, I'm currently in that time. That will be up in August, and I'm going to talk about the post stuff here in a little bit, but I want to give an intro, film an intro, and then I'm going to actually go to my appointment now. I have another appointment. Um, I met with my RE already, my uh, reproductive endocrinologist, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I have an appointment that I made with my regular OBGYN to go over um, just everything and just get a chance to talk to her. I don't think it'll be a long appointment at all. I think it'll be like five minutes and I'll be out of there. It's kind of almost, it really is kind of pointless, but I made this on my own, um, just a sit down and talk appointment to go over what happened and what the outlook is, um, and get her input as well. All right, I am back from my appointment and um, I'm just gonna jump into what happened at the first appointment with my reproductive endocrinologist and then I'll get into today's appointment. Um, it's pretty short, uh, yeah. <laughs> so here's Sadie, by the way. She's gonna be like right here and you might see there her ear, her nose, or her at some point. Um, but anyway, so last week I had my appointment and Luke and I went to there <laughs> and uh, my doctor showed me pictures from my first surgery before they did the surgery and then after the first surgery and then after the second surgery and um hey Sadie so anyway uh that was really cool to see she showed me how you couldn't really you could hardly or couldn't really see the openings to the fallopian tubes and then by the end of it you totally could and it was like one cavity um and she also like drew diagrams of my uterus basically just showing like a horseshoe kind of shape and how there was a line. They cut, you know, the septum, they cut it out. Um, I do have a little bit of an arcuate uterus, she said at the top, where from the outside of my uterus, it looks completely normal, um, like a ball, but then inside it does have a little bit of the top still, um, but it gives me a lot of good room to, on the sides, to have a baby implant. Um, so, that's what we wanted. <laughs> um, if you are curious, I do have a cervical septum. Um, in my cervix, there is still septum there, but, um, that should not be an issue because during labor, the baby will just kind of either go out the left or the right side of the septum. So, um, that shouldn't be too much of an issue, but the vaginal septum is one that, uh, would have been an issue. So that's why they did remove that in my second surgery. Um, so everything's good there. The pictures were really cool to see, really weird, but really cool. And so after that, um, she said that our TTC outlook, our time that we can start trying to conceive again would be in September. So uh, I'm so excited and so freaked out. Um, I'm mostly just nervous that it will take a really long time to get pregnant again. Um, not, well, I said, I shouldn't have said it that way. I'm sorry, that was insensitive, but it will take a while and I don't want to get too nervous or freaked out about that. Now I might get pregnant the first or second month. I might not get pregnant for five or six months. Um, and at that time I am I talked to both my doctors about this. They both said um, that, you know, if it's taking a while, I can go talk to someone. And my reproductive endocrinologist actually said to go see her. So I will probably do that if it takes a while. Um, I don't know exactly how long I'll, I'll wait before I do that. Um, at least six months, probably. I'd probably wait six or seven, maybe even eight months before I went to see her again. But um, hopefully I won't have to. We'll see what happens. And so September is the month. And I just want to say real quick too, if I do get pregnant, 
in the first few months, like you're not going to know about it for a while. I don't plan on announcing any pregnancies until I am at, at least eight weeks pregnant. Um, and so yeah, just throwing it out there. But anyway, so that was that appointment. It went really well. And so I talked to my doctor today. She said, yeah, September sounds great. Um, they wanted to have two months in between from my surgery at the end of June to trying to conceive again, because really the end of June and the beginning of July is when I had those last two surgeries. Um, and so like that gives pretty much all of July, all of August, and really it gives a good part of September too, before I will be um, in the ovulation period to get pregnant. So anyway, that gives me a good amount of time. That's basically the facts of it all. And if you guys want to ask any questions, leave them down below. Anything TTC, surgery, septate uterus um, related, anything like that, I would love to talk about and answer. So um, if you have questions, leave them down below. And if I have enough questions, I will do a whole video. And if not, I will just put that stuff in another video and kind of combine something. Um, but anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. God bless. And I will see you all later. I'm so excited. Ah, <laughs> I get to try to get pregnant in a few months. Um, I really hope it happens in the first like three or four months. That four, Three or four months. That would be great. So yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs>